KNV, Angela Yee, Charlamagne the guy. We are the Breakfast Club. We got some special guests in the building, yeah, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Tiffany Haddish and Kevin Hart. <laughs> in Yay. the building. Hey, why are you screaming, man? <laughs> I don't know. So relax. Yeah, that was, that was yeah, very I'm, I'm happy to see them, too, but exciting, damn, bro. Energetic. I like it. <laughs> Kevin here complaining about chairs that he bought, saying that the chairs won't go up no higher. I'm not complaining about the chairs that I bought. I just don't understand when you guys know I'm coming. You should have my setting ready. You know what? You bought you those bought chairs. It's not about what I bought. It's about what I need. <laughs> I told you that. It's just, I'm not saying that you got to make it a public thing, but put a, put a fucking pillow on there. Tiffany you want seems a pillow, fine. Give a pillow. That's too late. Pillow, Tiffany's fine with her chair. Yeah, my torso's longer. Yeah, Tiffany's taller. <laughs> it's fine. It's, let's not make a thing out of it. I'm okay. Okay. <laughs> how, how, how are you guys doing? How are I don't you know doing? What, I don't know where to start with y'all. Let's start. Let's what's start. What's going on? Night let's, school, let's first start. of all. Let's start there. Good business. Let's start there. Night school, hitting theater, September 20th. Excited. Uh, I don't think I could be more excited. Why? I'll tell you why. Uh, first you movie. A you got damn right. Let him handle this. You got damn right. Talk to himself. I can segue Kevin in and out of whatever the hell I want to talk about <laughs> smoothly, too. Uh, reason why is because it's the first movie underneath my production umbrella, Heartbeat Productions. Uh, taking it a step further, you know, from just being the talent, turning the business, the business notch up. And in doing so, I wanted to put myself in a position to win, so I teamed up with my guy, Will Power Packer, again. Mm -hmm. uh, this is our seventh movie together. Four number ones, two number twos. Hopefully we're talking about one more number one. And coming off of a number one success, I said, dude, it makes no sense to not have Tiffany Haddish be a part of my first movie. Hey. Especially understanding her story and where she's coming from. Mm -hmm. So we casted Tiffany in the movie. Uh, along with another amazing group of actors and actresses. Uh, the list is too long to name, but it's so many. And, you know, right now we're talking about something that was built from the ground up that I got to witness, that I got to be a part of. And and right now the conversations of being a partner to studios instead of a work for hire is a real one. So it's an exciting time for me. And how it's much, an exciting time for Tiffany as well. How much money have you and Will made together so far? It's a lot of money, buddy. Seven, six movies? <laughs> it's a lot of money. No need to get into the numbers. So okay. It's, uh, <laughs> it's up there. It's up there. Now, you why know, night school? Have you, have you ever been to night school, either of you? I can tell you the, the, the whole story behind night school and... Uh, and, and the reason behind it is, is something that I think people will be able to relate to. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's a movie about second chances. Mm -hmm. In life, so many people do things the first time around and may or may not get it right in the doing so, you feel like it's over. You feel like I've lost all opportunity. There is no way to win. In this particular case, education is the forefront of the story. And so many people that don't embrace education properly end up going back to have to do it again. And what you find out is when you embrace it the second time, you do it correctly. And the opportunities in life are still there. And it may even be more. Uh, this is a movie that embraces that. This is a movie that highlights that. And we do it uh, from a funny perspective, but that people can relate to. God I'm damn. proof of that. I got my diploma in night school. I'm so well spoken. And that's what we're going <laughs> to so as we go on. Yeah, so How were you guys as students in school in real life? Mm, I was okay. I was all right. You, you know, uh, I did. I did. I had a 2.5 grade average. There you go. Mm. Is that good? That's not all right. Two point five. I graduated. <laughs> I graduated. I had a lot of credits because I went to summer school every year. So you see, you had to go to summer school every year. Too? <laughs> because, you no, because I didn't want to uh, get in any trouble, and it was boys in summer school. Uh, okay. <laughs> you see, my level of education. I celebrated the two point five. I think. <laughs> yes. 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 I'm talking about That's exactly what I'm talking about. Now, now listen, we hear these conversations about equal pay in Hollywood. Mm -hmm. Tiff and Kev, y'all both are on the bill. Mm -hmm. How does that work out? Uh, look, I know what the conversations <clears throat> are. Oh. Um, you know, look, I'm, I'm all about the 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 female the female growth. You know, especially in entertainment. You know, I think that that women and and the voices that are coming from these women should be heard. <clears throat> And the opportunity should be given. So what about, um, what about that money, though? Yeah. Was, it, think, was it equal pay? Is it equal pay? I, I don't think so. But you know what? He's producing on it and it whatnot. Okay, you know, okay. but he, he, we both just got houses. You know, his house is in the hills somewhere. We can't find it. My house is in South Central. <laughs> <laughs> no, look, I, I think that the conversation is one that needs to be had.